Hi Aries, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. This message is for Aries, let's see. So we've got our one card message, Aries. You've got the high priestess, okay? Um, what's going on here? So it looks like uh, this might be an unconventional relationship. Maybe where somebody wanted you to be, I'm hearing like secret lover, or they wanted you to be, yeah, definitely. They wanted you to be the secret lover. They wanted you to be the woman on the outside. They wanted you to play some type of role in their life okay the high priestess can talk about maiden mother i think crone also i always forget those three but the three you know phases of a woman's life right so i don't know what phase this person wanted you to play whether you're a young woman they just wanted you to play your role in, in terms of we hook up we have fun you know blah 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 that's it or you're an older woman and it's more so like, I want you to be my old lady, if you will. Um, I want you to be the my home, home base, but I have others. Because you have somebody in the energy who's not settled, who's not ready to settle down. They could be highly sexual. Or they have a high sex drive. Or it's you, or the relationship was like, there was a lot of sex and aggression in the relationship. Um, maybe you guys showed your affection, your love by way of sex and aggression. You could be the married party who has a secret person who you want this person to play their role because you are married. That could be the circumstance also. You've got Sagittarius, Pisces coming up. You've got somebody who want, wanted you to spin the wheel with them, like take a risk, a gamble, have fun with them. Um, maybe you even have somebody here who wanted to be in and out of your life. But again, the high priestess, she does or he does nothing. Like they don't move. They don't get out of character. They don't, there's no shouting matches. The high priestess plays its part or her part or his part. It's like somebody wanted you to be in the background. They wanted to have the idea of a relationship with you, but not really the, the conformity, the commitment, the parameters set on them. They didn't want that. So somebody wants you in some like unconventional type of situation, maybe because they are married or you're married or you both married and it's just a situation of, of, of that. Some of you, this is also maybe your higher self calling to you, speaking to you, whispering to you that it's time to go to the next level in career and finances. It's time to do something different. It's time to bet on yourself. It's time to put yourself out there. It's time to work from home. It's time to work less leisurely. It's time for you to do something. It's time for you to take action. You know, um, be a co-creator in your existence, in your destiny and where you want to be. You, you might even be called to go back to school or to learn something or get some type of certificate. It looks like like online or self-taught or yeah. You might be being called to once again, be your own boss, start something, self-actualization. You can actually do it. You just got to put the time, the energy, the work into it because in something else, you're not getting paid enough. You're not getting enough money. This also, if you go back to school or you do this thing, it could open the door to wealth. Now we hear wealth, we immediately think of money, and which you, you should. But wealth is so many different things because you can have a wealth of knowledge. Knowledge can help you get, you know, wealth. So it's the... You can get the acquisition, or the acquisition of knowledge, but how do you apply it so that you can then get wealth? So it's a, it's a, it's a line. You got to be in line or alignment also. 
so you can go to the school, the university, get the degree, the certificate. If you don't apply it, you don't apply yourself, then what? And that's where, you know, it's wasted knowledge. You didn't apply the knowledge so that you can get the wealth, right? There could also be somebody giving you just enough time, just enough energy, just enough text messages, a call, phone calls to keep you hanging on so that they can then come and, you know, maybe have sex with you. This is somebody who's in and out of your life or they take long leaves of absence, like physical absence. So they, you guys could not see each other for an extended amount of time. But maybe in that time that you didn't see one another with your own eyes, um, you were texting, you were calling. So this is somebody who, you know, keeps you on the hook. The universe is saying, call judgment on this. You know, like, what do you want is what the universe is asking. What do you really want? We're here to assist. We're here to assist. But you got to be firm and what you want. The high priestess could also talk about doing nothing. Do nothing right now. Do nothing. Don't move. Don't make any moves. No, no sudden moves. This also talks about intuition. You know something. Maybe you don't want to face it because in the, in the high priestess, it says a decision has to be made. And when we make a decision, that means we're going in and we're making an incision and then we're going to cut away. We got to get, do away with it, get, get, be done with it. Right? So maybe you don't want to do that. That's going to be hard, but the car wise, I say that they want you to know that, um, you're stronger than, you know, you're stronger than, you know, you can actually do this. You can cut that job away or you can sever the tie with this love partner. You can do it. There's somebody here who comes in with a lot of charisma, a lot of fast talking, a lot of the sweet nothings. They're funny, they're attractive, they're outgoing. They get you all caught up in the whirlwind of them. <coughs> of them. They don't want me to tell you this. They get you all caught up in the whirlwind. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, they get what they want and they leave. <coughs> they could be acting or yeah they could be acting or masquerading like they want more from you but this is just nothing but a cycle of the same thing over and over again the high priestess here says that you already know this <coughs> but it's like maybe inability, the failure to make the cut, to actually cut this off. It could even be wishful thinking, yeah. It, it, you, you know or you have an idea that this is going nowhere fast, especially with maybe a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, like yourself, <coughs> or... um. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, Scorpio highlighted. It's like, you know, you need to cut this person off. You know, you need to cut the sex off, or you know, you need to cut the relationship off, or you know, you need to divorce, or I don't know. It's just like, you know, where there's no decision being made. It's like the inability to move. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. If you're here on YouTube and down in the comment section, if you're here on Instagram, thank you. Many blessings to you. Keep in mind that readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for being here. Many blessings to you. Take care.